Hi guys, this is Cy from Sinai Software. Uh, today I am talking about the release of Sinai Script. So we've had a lot of uh, people come to us who are using it and they're saying, you know what, your utilities are really big. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, not all the stuff we want to use. Is there a way to simplify some of this, make our own interfaces, so on and so on. So we've listened to you and we've built something that you can actually run a line of Mac script that will run any of our C++ functions, which makes this really fast for you guys. So we put this in this utility and you can see from the drop down here, you can see we have Forensic, which is our scene checker. We have Scribe, which is our spline tools, Sculpt, which is our meshing tools, Jumble, ram Random Transformation, and Selection Tools, and Unite. So um, all these tools are in here. So you just simply sort of select what you want to select. So let's just do something with Mesh. Uh, I'll grab Mesh and let's do any of our functions that are in the interface are in here. Uh, so it is very easy to uh, sort of see how to max script their own stuff and it gets better. So just hang on. Let's do, let's look at attach by similar object. So we'll bring up this one. So it tells you um, what, type of, uh, what type of variables we return from our function, how many parameters you need to send. So attach similar. Um, we even give you a sample. So this whole sample is a UI sample. So if I want to run this, it launches up the old Mac script. I can sort of select one of my railing here and say attach by similar. And it's going to go through the whole scene and attach by similar really fast because it's using our C++ function uh, to go do this, even though it's one line of Mac script. So all this is very easy to use. So um, also when you go in here, if you want to alter this, play around with it, you can just simply say send to the editor and it will send all this Mac script sample to the editor and you can start building your own tools from that. And I'll show you that in a second. We'll do something really simple in the end. Um, and it gives you the ability to copy it to clipboard. So if you want to go start saving it somewhere else and working on stuff. Uh, we do have a way to, we give you test geometry. Uh, test shapes and a quick way to open up the listener, uh, but that's always F11 anyway. So um, it, once you're doing Mac scripting, you'll sort of see that you're going to be using the listener a lot for debugging. Uh, but this gives you the perfect way to build all your own interfaces, buttons, keyboard shortcuts, everything like that by a simple line of Mac script that runs a lot of our multi-threaded C++ functions. Um, so, and also, you know, like, um, even functions that we don't have. Uh, let's just take a look at the meshing tools right now. Like if we go through and we look at our attaches, uh, we have attach objects, materials, layers, similar by distance, but we don't have an attach by name, but you could simply write that. Um, so let me give you an example really quick. Let's just go down and we'll grab, um, let's just go to the regular attach function in here. So we'll go attach all objects. I'm going to copy this to the um, editor and we're going to change this around. Um, actually, what I only want to do is I'm going to grab this function, this whole line here, because um, I'm not going to run this by the UI. And I'll just delete this and we'll paste this in. So let's just look at this. What I want to do is I want to go through this scene and attach everything by the same name. Now, I know I have a whole bunch of stuff named Windows. Uh, let's see, there's Windows T1. What else we have? We have Windows T3. So I'm sure there's a lot of Windows out there that we could go attach. Let's just sort of see what we have at the moment. So let's just go do something simple. We'll type in OBJ equals, and I'm gonna put a dollar sign, use window and an asterisk to give me anything that starts with that and a wild card as array. So if I run this now, you can see my listener, it's gone around to the scene and grabbed everything named window. Now I didn't have to go through, search these, look at these or anything like that. I know I have that into an array. So I'm going to paste that in here and then we can actually look at what we have in here function wise. So um, what we need to put in. So an array of objects, that's fine. We already did that because now we've got an array by name. Uh, do we want to weld it? Um, no, 
We don't want to, let me just get rid of all this stuff here real quick. Do we want to weld it? No, let's just type in false. Oops, let's have, if I spell that right. Um, the welding threshold, so that'll be 0.0, because .0, we're not welding it, but we need to give it a float number anyway. And a string for a name. Now, if you don't want to rename your object, that's fine leave it blank, but you need to at least send it a blank string. And what it'll do is it'll grab the name naming convention by what you're using. So let's run this. Okay, it's gonna go through the whole scene, find every window in that scene and attach it up. And that was fast. If you did this by regular Max script, that would take, you know, a good three, three minutes probably through Max script through its poly attach or mesh attach is a little faster, but all of our functions so we right now we have just changed something around to make a function that is attached by name um, that easy uh, really simple so um, we're gonna be adding in more and more stuff in here um, we you can even go through and build your own relinker um, even if you go down to let's see go to unite uh, if you want to go see relink any missing files um, Let's see, return number of missing files. So let's just run this sample and we'll see what it gives us. Okay, so right now there's no missing files in the scene. But we could find out, yes, if there was missing files in the scene, go up and give us a dialog that we could put in our own path, uh, which would probably be um, relink missing files. So if we run that script, it gives us a sample of how to use, you know, search for a directory. You'll say, hey, desktop, gonna go relink all these missing files and run that, but there's no missing files, so it's not gonna go search anything in the scene. But you could build even, like I said, your own relinking tools out of this. You wouldn't have to use, you know, our big Unite interface. Um, you could do anything you want. So, um, like I said, we've listened to you guys. Uh, we put together this whole thing. Right now, I think there's a good 95 different samples and functions that you can use. And as you saw from this little uh, demo, um, even functions that we don't have, you can actually create out of this and still have the power of using MaxScript uh, to access our multi-threaded C++ functions. So if you haven't got a chance to play around with our stuff, um, go to cinisoftware.com, sign up, uh, go for a trial. Now, um, information about this isn't on the website yet. Uh, it is part of the Ignite tool set. So all these tools up here are for Ignite. Um, so just go in, click on the Ignite trial, download our software, and you can play around with all this, make your own Max script functions. Now, the other last thing about this to know is you need to have a license for Ignite to run these. I mean, we're not, we can't really give out our, all our C++ functions for free for everybody. It's still part of the Ignite tool set. All this does is give you the ability to build your own interfaces uh, so you don't have to open up our big ones all the time. So thanks a lot, guys, and um, really interested in know your feedback. Um, we are also going to throw in, um, we're going to start doing a lot of mathematical functions as well to help out Max Script. So if you need to, say, filter through monstrous, enormous arrays and uh, filter by size or something like that, send it point threes, you want to find distances. We're going to do a lot of these mathematical functions in here as well. So you'll be able to build your own Max Script and have them run really fast. Thanks a lot, guys. See you.